Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So as a lot of you guys know, I am a rose girl. I love roses. I love the smell of roses. I love the beauty of roses. I love rose quartz. I love rose gold. And I especially love rose water. I've done a full video on rose water in the past. I use it every single day of my life. And the brand I've always used is the Pure Rose Drinkable Bulgarian Rose Water. Well, I have some very exciting news. Pure Rose actually developed a new rose product called Rose Nectar. And I've had the opportunity to drink this over the past little while and I have absolutely fallen in love. I've been having so much fun just putting it onto everything I can imagine. Um, it smells like heaven and it's really, really nutritious for you. So I thought it would be an interesting video just to talk a little bit about the rose nectar and the Bulgarian rose in general because it's an absolutely amazing flower. And in my previous rose video, I talked more about the external benefits like skincare and beauty, but this video is gonna be more focused on internal benefits of Bulgarian rose because the rose nectar is actually meant to be taken internally. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and I hope you enjoy the video. So first off, I want to talk about what makes the Bulgarian rose so special. There's many different types of roses out there, and when we think of roses, we usually think of the beautiful ornamental roses that you would give a loved one. However, the Bulgarian rose is really unique, and it's actually considered an herb because of its medicinal properties. It's really high in nutrients and vitamins and minerals, and the rose oil in Bulgarian rose is not only one of the most expensive essential oils, it's also the sub with the highest vibrational energy known to man. So that's pretty cool. And the beautiful country of Bulgaria is the best place on earth to grow this herb. That's why it's called the Bulgarian Rose. Bulgaria has the most suitable climate and soil to cultivate the Bulgarian rose. It has favorable temperatures, the right amount of sunlight, the right amount of rain, and the presence of specific natural magnetic fields. And Bulgaria also has centuries of traditions cultivating Bulgarian roses. So first off, I want to make an important distinction between rose water and rose nectar. You can think of rose water more for external uses like beauty and skin care, and sometimes you can flavor desserts with it if it's an edible grade. However, rose nectar is a really unique product made from the Bulgarian roses, and it has so many health benefits, so you're better off taking it internally. And just like other all-natural health products like aloe vera or coconut oil, you can still use the rose nectar on your skin, but since it does have so many nutrients and health benefits, you're better off ingesting it, and I will be showing you how I like to use rose nectar in a few minutes. I also want to state that not all rose water is created equal. It's a very valuable substance and a lot of the products that you can find in the stores have been diluted and they just don't have the medicinal properties. So if you're wanting all the health benefits of the Bulgarian rose, you need to look for a very high quality and authentic rose product. And you also won't get the benefits if you're just picking or buying ornamental roses and doing a do-it-yourself version at home because those aren't even the right type of roses to do it with and if you're buying them from the store they've been sprayed with a lot of pesticides and that sort of stuff. Rose Nectar is a proprietary blend created by a really really wonderful company called Pure Rose. They're the same company that I've always bought my rose water from. I just really trust their products and they're extremely high quality and just like Bulgarian rose water it's made from the Bulgarian roses and the founders of Pure Rose are actually from Bulgaria themselves and they've spent over a decade creating and perfecting this rose nectar. I guess the uniqueness of the product is that it really optimizes the nutritional content and the healing properties of the famous Bulgarian rose. Now moving on to how it's made. Making high quality rose nectar is a very strict process. The roses are picked from fields in the Rose Valley at dawn, usually between 4 and 9 a.m. while the nutrients are still in the petals. Then the juice has to be extracted from the petals within hours so it doesn't lose its properties. 
The rose petals then go through a very meticulous steam distillation process to extract all the essential oils and nutrients and other properties. And like I mentioned before, the Bulgarian Rose Valley has a long tradition of cultivating these roses and extracting the juices from them. That's why when people are looking for really high quality rose products, they look to Bulgaria. Roses are to Bulgaria as wine is to France, as coffee is to Colombia. Bulgaria has really good roses. And each ounce of rose nectar is made with 18 roses. Therefore, an eight ounce bottle is made with 144 roses. And a 16 ounce bottle is made with 288 roses. And the only ingredients are organic rose juice and organic rose oil from fresh Bulgarian rose petals. Think of it like a really nutrient rich, potent rose water. So many people are not aware of the internal benefits of Bulgarian rose, but it's actually really beneficial for both the body and the mind. I'm always trying to raise my vibration, whether it be eating healthy foods, connecting with nature, telling myself positive affirmations. So I was really excited to find out that Bulgarian rose is the highest vibrating flower. The rose essential oil in Bulgarian rose vibrates at around 320 megahertz, I believe, and the human body in a healthy state vibrates between 60 and 80 megahertz. And if it goes below 60 megahertz, that's when we're susceptible to sickness. So I'm always trying to just raise my vibration and keep myself in a healthy, happy state. And the Bulgarian rose also channels energy through the heart chakra, and we could all use a little bit of daily heart opening and self-love. And I cannot forget to mention the aromatherapy benefits of Bulgarian rose. That's kind of one of the well-known things for rose. It's just, it's amazing aromatherapy. I just crack open a bottle and just take a sniff throughout the day. So just the smell of the rose nectar alone has mood enhancing properties and can really help reduce stress. It just smells so good. And then on a physical level, rose nectar can help balance hormones, it's detoxifying, it's really good for the digestive system, and apparently research at UCI showed that it was one of the most potent anti-aging substances. So, you know, you can just beautify from the inside out. And I really believe in the law of attraction. So when I get up and start my day, I wanna do something good for myself first thing. So what I've been doing is I'll take a little bit of the rose nectar, put it in some water and just have that in the morning, maybe with some lemon juice. Um, I have a few things that I'm going to show you different uses for the rose nectar. I'll show you those in a second. But I find that when I just start my day doing something good for my body and raising my vibration, for the rest of the day, it's kind of open for me to receive more positive energy. I strongly believe in having a daily ritual to take care of yourself and just show yourself some self-love. Just do something good for yourself at least once a day. And rose for me is a big part of that. So, and a lot of you guys know that I really love yoga and I find that the rose nectar is just the perfect complement to your yoga or exercise routine. We all know it's really important to stay hydrated, especially when we're working out, but I find that drinking plain water sometimes can get a bit boring, so I like to always add a little bit of something into my water just to make it a bit more interesting. So adding a little shot or even a couple tablespoons of the rose nectar into your water can just kind of liven it up. And then you also have those aromatherapy benefits when you're drinking the water, you can kind of smell that rose and it just helps relax your mind even more. So I think it's the perfect thing just to add to your water bottle, take it on the go, take it to your classes and make your water more nutritious and smell delicious. That rhymed. So now moving on to the uses of rose nectar. There is so many things you can do with rose nectar. One of the easiest uses for rose nectar is simply adding it into your water. And it actually has antibacterial properties to cleanse your water. I love to make a heart opening drink by adding a rose quartz crystal into my water and then adding a tablespoon or two of the rose nectar. It's like a rose nectar gem elixir. Just remember to use a crystal that's big enough so you don't accidentally swallow it. And one of my favorite uses for the rose nectar is making rose kombucha. Just add a shot in and it'll make your kombucha even more amazing. It also makes a delicious flavor for desserts. I love adding it into my chia seed pudding with some cardamom and dates or honey. 
I'd also be making banana ice cream out of it by blending frozen bananas, a bit of rose water, and again, some cardamom and dates or honey. You can add it into your nut milks, you can add it into your smoothies, you can even just take a straight shot of it every day for some nutrients. There's so much you can do with it, just use your imagination. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new about rose nectar or even just Bulgarian rose in general. I know for me, since I've been researching a lot for this video, I've really developed a stronger appreciation for the Bulgarian rose and just herbs in general because I think it's really fascinating how we can use plants and herbs to heal ourselves. So yeah, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!